Registered Phenomena Code 004 Object Class Alpha White Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-004-1 and RPC-004-2 are to be placed within adjacent storage lockers spaced 8 meters apart. In the event that either RPC-004-1 or RPC-004-2 are producing ink, ASF and janitorial personnel are to be alerted immediately. Description: RPC-004 is a collection of anomalous books, two of which remain. RPC-004-1 is a red hardback notebook that contains writings from an unknown author. The writing itself, however, is not mimetic. The text within RPC-004-1 describes anomalous events and criminal acts, the investigations of which are still ongoing. Evidence suggests that the author of RPC-004-1 possessed anomalous abilities and used them to commit the aforementioned crimes. RPC-004-2 is a blue hardback notebook with the name Jenny written on the cover. The writing inside of RPC-004-2 is noticeably more incoherent, but still lacks mimetic properties. The name Jenny is believed to refer to Jenny, a 20-year-old woman who disappeared on October 20, 2018. The police case has since been closed due to the absence of evidence. When RPC-004-2 is placed within 5 meters of RPC-004-1, they both begin to emit a large amount, approximately 4 liters of ink. Tests have shown this fluid to be standard carbon black ink. The fluid will begin to spill off the page until only a small amount is left in the form of words. These writings are only briefly visible, however, as they dry and disappear after approximately one minute. In addition, the writings between the books appear to be connected, as if it were a conversation. See document RPC-004 D. Addendum RPC-004 A Missing Poster Forward The following is a missing poster collected near the recovery site of RPC-004-2. It helped in identifying that RPC-004-2's Jenny was Jenny. Addendum RPC-004 B RPC-004-1 Excerpts Forward. The following are poems taken from RPC-004-1. The dates preceding the poems appear to match with several missing person reports in the area Jenny disappeared. September 12, 2017 Girl behind the counter, of true love I am a doubter, but you've caught my eye with your charms ever so shy. Madly I chase after you. Sadly, I return feeling blue. But do not fret, I need not catch you with a net, with pen to paper. I'm afraid I'll now never see you later. Now you're up on the shelf above, added to the collection I so love. September 27, 2017 Down, down, onto the page, where I release all my rage. A poem, a look, next a book, and then it's done. That's when I've won. December 20, 2017 Immortality is what we crave. We want it so badly, we'll change how we behave. But with my gift, there's no need. Here's some words that you should heed. There's only one way to have immortality. Accept my gift, lose the morality. Please accept what I give. Up on my shelf you surely will live. March 15, 2018 Pen going, ink flowing. Fear showing, tears flowing, body going, body flowing, collection growing. May 11, 2018 I wonder what it must be like, sitting up there all day, watching from above as us mortals play, thoughts buzzing to and fro, causing the literature inside to grow. The shelf must be a curious place, especially with the newly added face. October 20, 2018 the jig is up. I'm about to throw up. My collection burned. All but two books were left unturned. They're at the door. They'll be in before four. But do not worry. Even if I am in a hurry, I will live on. I won't be gone. Words are immortal, and now I am too. Addendum RPC-004-C RPC-004-2 Excerpts Forward. The following are poems from RPC-004-2. 
What is this place? The last thing I remember was a chase. Wait, did I just rhyme? This situation is far from sublime. I did it again. Now I am trapped in some stranger's den. But why can't I move? I hope my situation will improve. I've grown tired of this rhyming. They hardly have good timing. They don't even make sense. My anger is immense. When will I be freed? It's freedom I need. I've come to understand what I am, and why my kidnapper is not on a lamb. I can see without eyes. Snuffed out are my cries. Unable am I to rise. It I don't want to seed, because it I cannot believe. A fire, growing higher. A new desire. A release from this emotional mire. If only I could leap, then I could be free from my defeat. The others now ash, thrown into the fire with a crash. At the aggressor I stared. Why was it that I was spared? A new feeling, far beyond healing. This one thing of death, now it's all that's left. I sit and wait, doomed to this eternal fate. I neither live or die, unable to cry. Unable to smile. Unable to walk a mile. This is my truth. The book you're reading is the proof. Its name is Jenny, and so was mine. Addendum RPC 004D. RPC 004 1 and RPC 004 2 Experimentation. RPC 004 1 and RPC 004 2 Experiment 1. Experiment Description RPC-004-1 and RPC-004-2 were placed in close proximity for two hours while researchers observed. Experiment conducted by Dr. Time, 9.22 p.m. Date, May 4th This familiarity, it brought me this moment of clarity? Ah, I see. You're the only other in this world who is truly free. How could one be so amiss, in this, the most pure of bliss? You call it bliss? A curse, that's what I call this. A hatred unlike any other I felt. The feeling would make my skin wilt. But skin is one of the many things I have not. Instead, I have leather, which I dread a lot. No, no, can't you see? You have only the option to agree. We're history that lives, an opportunity that no one now gives. Humans only retell history, nothing more. You've ascended from being a common whore. Into the ages, for the rest of time. Done with only a mere rhyme. And if you can't handle the price, then go back to living with the mice. Living? That must be a joke. Live as a book? I'd rather choke. Spending my days locked behind these pages. They're no more than papery cages. What I would give to have my life back. I'd happily lop off an arm or a leg. Things I already lack. That's a shame. You have only yourself to blame. If your mind was more open, perhaps you'd be less broken. I've grown tired now. Although first I will take a bow. We put on quite a show for these strangers we do not know. And with that I bid adieu. I hope you seek to build yourself anew. I hope you burn, so your pages remain unturned. And while you're at it, take me with you. For me, there is no building anew.